It started as a protest, it ended as a riot. It's now the seventh day of strikes in France over new laws which push the minimum retirement age from 60 to 62. But here in the Paris suburbs, for many, this is no longer about social reform, but a more general discontent with authority and a deeply unpopular government. I'm calling once again on Monsieur Sarkozy and his government to listen a little bit to what's going on. They have to listen a bit. We can't go on like this. We need to do it like demos in central Paris, demonstrations without rioters, because afterwards we just get taken for delinquents. Politicians will say we were just here to cause trouble and stir things up. With fuel depots still blocked, tensions are starting to fray and President Sarkozy has now ordered police to break up blockades which could prevent what he called the normal running of economic activity. But protesters are determined to keep the pressure up. People aren't discussing whether or not the law will go through. There's a battle that started and an absolute will to get the reforms withdrawn. So be quite assured that we'll be here all through half term, no problem. The key clauses of the law have already been passed by France's lower house and will be voted on in the Senate this week. The government's hoping that will be the end of it. Le Senate poursuit ses travaux. The Senate is doing its job and will meet this week. That means that in a few days, the retirement reforms will be the law of the land. Once voted into law, it will be down to us to work together to put it into effect. That could be easier said than done. The last thing ministers or union leaders wanted to see was protests being co-opted by rioters. And trouble on the streets just increases the pressure on both sides, with France waiting to see who blinks first. <laughs>